I understand the terror of narcissistic abuse just like I know you understand what that means and it's like being a deer in the headlights paralyzed not knowing where to turn or maybe even what is up and what is down and there are very few very few life experiences that can make us feel this way feel as terrorized as when a narcissist strikes out to hurt us it is beyond excruciating however as powerless as we may feel that is not true as we are not powerless and there are some key things that you can start doing right now to get relief and access a calm solution or even what some may deem a miracle with what you have been trying uh, to deal with and it it is my greatest mission as many of you know to show you that healing is possible that horror of narcissistic abuse when the narcissist does these unspeakable things and your stomach is churning and ice runs through your veins and you realize that this person is capable of things that you could never imagine and you have no idea what is going to happen next and when and i know you at this stage of, of, of abuse it feels like you have been hit by a truck and it's almost a given that you will be suffering regular panic attacks disassociation depersonalization you won't be able to think straight you'll have memory loss you basically are unable to function and there are a couple of things like i said in the beginning that you can do to help ease this. And the first thing that I would like to share with you is anchoring and anchor into knowing that the narcissist really truly does have no power to hurt you. And this can be extremely hard to comprehend, especially at the beginning, because it seems that the narcissist is all powerful. They're omnipotent, omniscient, and that they can do, they can crush you at any moment, hurt you and rip your life apart with their deceptions, their actions, and their flying monkeys. And you may be, you may be experiencing that right now as I speak to you. However, there is a deeper truth going on as the narcissist have a false self that cannot, who cannot generate their own power. They are only able to operate by, by triggering the primal survival programs of their victim. Things like fear of abandonment, annihilation, not being able to survive, and then siphoning this energy and then using it against us as metaphorical bullets to shoot us with. Narcissistic abuse is a spiritual, psychic, and energetic phenomenon. What we believe to be the surface system of life does not apply here. In fact, narcissistic abuse and its effect take a, take a really deep dive into the spiritual world and um, many other worlds as well. And it's... <laughs> It shows us, narcissistic abuse shows us the reality of our unconscious, unhealed parts that narcissists unearth, expose, and attack with full ferocity. And in normal cognitive understanding, we have the, we have the, the understanding of life that we have. This is happening to me from this outside source and I have to negate, change, or stop what they are doing in order to be safe. Narcissists, however, they are all smoke and mirrors. There is no actual person there. And this disorder is powered up inside the narcissist by your primal and survival terrors. The narcissist, they are only a catalyst feeding off of your fear in order to line you up and project onto you his or her inner tormented parts. If this person was not in your life doing this, another one would have presented themselves because the true and sole purpose of a narcissist and narcissistic abuse is to free you from your primal terror so that you can reintegrate as your true self. And when our primal terrors no longer exist, 
the narcissist can no longer be fed energetically and they will no longer be able to continue feeding off of you. And without narcissistic supply or that emotional energy that they are siphoning from you, their actions against you, they fall flat and it's just not possible anymore. It is like fearlessly looking at a dragon, roaring in that, then seeing that the mirage there is really a broken, disordered, powerless child who has no desire to take responsibility for his or her wounds. And they're, they instead are trying to destroy everyone else around them by using their own fear and pain against them. And when you can understand this, all you, all you can really do is let go of your internal fear and pain, creating your own solid, calm inner being instead. And no matter what, anyone else is or is not doing, you will see how powerless the narcissist truly is. Letting go to get up and get out of narcissistic abuse and into our true selves and our true life. Some, pe some people do take a lot of time to get it and that is understandable. Some are kicking and screaming and others just let go and do it. And I was kind of in the kicking and screaming category because letting go is massive. And it is really the number one thing that we humans struggle to do. And when we are in the midst of the terror of narcissistic abuse, realizing the betrayals and how this person has just been able to discard and replace us as if we never existed, and as well as the malicious, uh, how they maliciously annihilate us and how this person has absolutely no care or empathy towards us. They don't care about the people or the things that we care care about. And of course, they also smashed or stole so much of our dreams that we thought our life would only, it would forever be terror and pain. We have invested so much and we have probably lost so much, including resources, years, health, wealth. And we may have believed that the investment was far too great to walk away from. And yet the harder that we hang on, the more we lose ourselves with this sinking ship. Things keep getting worse and they don't and will not improve. The reason why this happens is because our soul, this source, God, and all of life is working for us and to get us out of the wrong situations where we did compromise our true selves, our values, and our highest, best self-generative lives. And we got attached to the narcissist's false self. So another way to understand letting go is acceptance. And acceptance was huge for me. And as I know it has been for many of you, I was firmly embedded in the terror of narcissistic abuse and abandonment and watching everything that I had worked for going down the drain. I was deeply, deeply identified with material and outer aspects, believing that these were my identity. And I clung to these things desperately. And when I had my breakdown, I finally realized that these things were not me and that it was not the true state of my soul. I realized the gift in my breakdown was to lose all of the illusions that I thought were me and to integrate my soul and then build a real life from there. And that is what led me to the, create these videos in this community. And thank goodness I did that and now live life from the inside out. Because if it were not for letting go of all of that toxic energy, the fear, the pain, the emotional losses, from narcissistic abuse and then starting to fill them with spirit i would not have realized my incredible connection to know that i am that i'm flourished and nourished by life and my higher power it took me letting go of purposely and purposely healing myself to start experiencing these things and the, the life just kind of partnered with me at the same time because before my life was more of a disconnected struggle and i consistently see that when people are trying to heal from narcissistic abuse but there there is one thing that you have to do accept the truth of the situation let go and begin to heal and then quickly you will see that you will leave the terror behind and start moving forward into fearless and healthy trajectories my name is sarah ann brown and this is narcissistic abuse 101